Hi, Pax. Thanks for the video response. I love those. You and Hammered both sent me one at the same time. I'm like, oh my gosh, fresh cup of coffee and two video responses. I'm in heaven. Um, and you said something kind of interesting to me because uh, I feel the opposite. Um, you said, I, I wish, you know, I could know how I was perceived by others, what people think about me. And, you know, it would begin, it'd be interesting, actually, to be able to share that kind of information. So someone said that in your comments. Like, uh, you went to a group where everyone sh shared their perception of one another. And, uh, you know, he wasn't really sure if that's helpful or not, but it's certainly an interesting thing. And I remember uh, one of the anti-Earls. Uh, actually, this is somebody, he'd worked with me a long time. He'd actually worked with me a couple years before he finally broke down and realized that uh, he had been treating me pretty badly all these years. And I had... Uh, not responded to any of it and I guess he came to talk to me in front of others which I thought was cool um, to kind of own up to his behavior and but part of part of why he wanted to own up to it is because he he couldn't understand why he'd been treating me badly for two years and at no point in time have I said hey man why are you being such a jerk to me um, and uh, so he's talking to me, and I'm like, you know, no hard feelings, you know, let's just, uh, let's just be respectful and professional to each other from now on. How's that sound? Um, you know, kind of like a, a yeah, I accept your apology. And then he wanted to, uh, he wanted to tell me why he got, why we got off on the wrong foot. Um, and he started to, and I was trying to stop him. And I, it, it took me like several, please stop, please stop, please stop. And he started to tell me about how, when he first started working, uh, a group of some other anti-Earls came and approached him and made sure he had the proper anti-Earl mindset. And then uh, after a couple re uh, years of working with me, he realized actually that he'd been duped and he was actually wrong to assume uh, a relationship with somebody, uh, a negative one, based on what other people have told him. You know, like, we want you to act this way towards this person. And he did. And so I finally was able to stop him, and I said, listen, man, I think that our relationship up until now hasn't really been based on respect. And uh, I've told you over and over and over again uh, in this very brief period of time that I actually don't want to hear why we got off on the wrong foot. And I think that if you want to get our relationship onto a respectful basis, not finishing this story would be the start. And then he was mystified at that. Like, it was two mystifications. He couldn't figure out why I had never, uh, uh, you know, I guess defended myself or, uh, or approached him and said, hey, man, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you stopped uh, jerking my chain. And, uh, and then he couldn't understand why I wouldn't want to know about, you know, all about how he had felt about me and how he got off on the wrong foot and maybe even tell me the names of the people that uh, had steered him the wrong direction. That's kind of what he started to do, too. Uh, and I, I didn't like that either. But, uh, I mean, that might be a part of why uh, I rub people the wrong way. It's like, uh, um, like, because I'm not interested, actually, in how I'm perceived. Um, I think that, especially, I, I guess what I'd say is, I'm not interested in ha hearing about it. Because I, I spent that two years uh, watching that and thinking about it. Um, and I do that with the people that uh, I like and they like me and I do that with the people that I don't like and they don't like me and, and all the combinations therein. Um, it's the actions. It's the way our actions uh, overlap or are jar against each other. Um, they tell me all I need to know or all I want to know. Um, so really, like I, I, I'd been through two years of explanation from him. And then I was really happy to look forward to a change because then, then I could see how this person comes to a, a new conclusion and then treats me differently. And I would have noticed immediately, uh, even if he hadn't have told me. If he, if, like if that week he stopped uh, being rude to me and was respectful, uh, polite, kind, and professional, I would have noticed immediately. And, uh, and I would I have not really need to wonder about it because I would have known. You know, I wouldn't have maybe have known the specifics. Maybe it was something I had done that day. Maybe I'd done something uh, 
maybe I'd gone a little out of my way to make something easier for him, and he thought um, that that just couldn't, that, that there was too many things that just didn't jibe with his preconceived notions about me. And this one thing that I did finally like made him like look at the construction he had built about who I was and just decided that it all fell apart. You know, maybe that would have been kind of interesting. He's like, oh, it's, it's when you, uh, you offered me a part of your lunch. <laughs> you know, something like that. Like, that would be kind of interesting to me. But I think I also would have picked up on uh, about when it would have happened. And I don't know. So, so there you have it. <laughs> we've, got, uh, we've got opposite desires. <laughs> All right, Pax, I'll see you in the tubes.